welcome to the Daily Office. I'm glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, July the 25th. It's year one, proper 12, and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 65, Mark chapter 6, verse 14 to 29. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Alleluia. Psalm 65. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God, and to you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayers. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed are those whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, with the blessings of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas and the roaring of their waves and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, you give it water, you till it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, you soften it with showers, and you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, to you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 14. Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. Some were saying John the baptizer has been raised for the dead, from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. But others said it is Elijah, and others said it is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and a holy man, and he protected him. And when he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers, and for the leaders in Galilee. And when his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod. And his guests and the king said to the girl ask me for whatever you wish and I will give it and he solemnly swore to her whatever you ask I will give you even half my kingdom she went out and said to her mother what should I ask for and she replied the head of John the baptizer immediately she rushed back to the king and requested I want you to give me at once the head of John the baptizer on a platter and the king was deeply grieved Yet, out of regard for his oath and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. And immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, and brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. And then the girl gave it to her mother, 
And when the disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be good and holy and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in your church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the breaking, in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame that, of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all grace and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>